What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a title called Disjunction. It's got some pretty rad pixel art and it takes place in a cyberpunk dystopian world where we will be doing RPG stuff. And so color me surprised. I figure we'll check this on out today. We'll see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this video you wanted to do exactly that, I'll have a link for you down below. That'll be next to my Discord and my Twitch TV as per the normal spiel. So anyways, let's dive on in and check out Disjunction and see if it's something rad. I like cyberpunk stuff, so why not? Uh, yeah, we'll erase the current progress. That's fine. November 19th, 2048. New York City. This is Elaine Chen with your evening news broadcast. Clashes between police and Central City residents continued this week after the shocking murder of decorated NYPD officer Samuel Lewis by controversial Central City community leader Lamar Hubbard. Officer Lewis stopped Hubbard near the border of Central City after an anonymous tip that Hubbard was carrying the new illicit drug known as Shard on his person. Hubbard allegedly shot Officer Lewis six times before seeking refuge in the Central City compound. A SWAT raid apprehended Hubbard later that same day. More shard was found on the premises, prompting investigators to believe that the drug originates in Central City. Hubbard continues to claim innocence. We can actually mouse over this stuff too right here in order to get more information. This game actually has a surprising amount of lore in it, which honestly is something that I feel is lacking a lot of the time. So like a lot of games are moving towards sort of like show, don't tell. But one of the things that sort of gets lost in that push for show, don't tell is all the background of the world. So I like it when you take a show, don't tell stance when it comes to kind of like the, um, I guess, the emergence of your game and like the world and the way just the themes are presented to the player. But at the same time, I really like this idea, too, where you can just mouse over things to find out a little bit more information, since after all, we're kind of new to the universe. In other news, Mayor Montgomery is expected to make a decision soon on whether to sign a major contract with defense contractor Bishop Kraus. Bishop Kraus has offered to deploy cybernetically enhanced security personnel in New York and Central City to deal with the crime epidemic that is plaguing both areas. Political pressure is weighing heavily on Mayor Montgomery as popular sentiment from New York is slowly but surely shifts in favor of the contract. Apparently my phone's ringing. If I had a nickel for every time I got woke up in the morning by my phone ringing, see, he's smart. He puts it over here on the desk. I put mine like right by my pillow. See, I could ignore this. I can't ignore it when it's right by the pillow. Frank, it's Sybil. You know what this is about. Yeah, I was wondering when you call. It's been almost a week and I know Lamar didn't do it and you do too. He hated cops, but he'd never kill one. We can't wait for the lawyers to deal with this. It's gonna take months and it's too easy to hide things. Lamar will never get clear without help. Okay, so everybody thinks he's a cop killer. It's going to be impossible for us to make a dent in this at all. So what am I supposed to do? If we don't make a move, he'll never see the light of day again. You owe him, Frank. I'm asking for your help. I know, but, like, I don't have anything to go on. Isn't that your job? You're an investigator. How about you do some investigating? Anyways, I think I've got something. We didn't think anything of it at first, but it can't just be a coincidence. Okay. There's a new nonprofit clinic that opened up in Central City a few months ago offering top-notch care for free. We're suspicious. Nothing in Central is free after all, and a couple of our people went over there to get treated and told us it was the real deal. A few weeks went by and some of those same people started getting arrested. I didn't make the connection until Lamar. He went there last month and now they've got him too. Okay, they've got him? Are you saying the nonprofit clinic set Lamar up? I don't know, but it all just seems a little coincidental to me. We don't have anything else, Frank. Okay, I'll look into the clinic. Thanks, Frank. I appreciate it. Yeah, sure. The news mentioned Lamar was found with shard on him. You know anything about that? I know for a fact he wasn't found with it because we don't deal with that shit directly. We let shard into Central City, but we don't mess with the dealers. They're small time anyways, and as far as I know, none of them know where shard actually comes from. Okay, so if he was framed, I don't really understand this connection with the clinic or the shard. I'll go to the clinic tonight after it closes, and let's see what we can find. Frank, don't be overt. If you want to stay out of sight and just get the information we're after. No bodies, okay? Alright, sure. Watch your back, Frank. If Lamar really was framed, he might be walking into a hornet's nest. Keep those cyber eyes of yours peeled and let me know what you find. Alright, bye. You gotta, you know, bye 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 bye! 
Bye, 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 bye. You gotta hit him with the, you gotta hit him with like the comical goodbye, just to like add some levity to the situation. Cause cyberpunk's always so heavy, and it's always so gritty, and it's always so dark and gray, and nothing happy ever happens. Apparently, we are traveling from Frank's apartment to the clinic right now. They specifically requested no dead bodies, so obviously I've been a little bit handcuffed right there. I'm kind of a psycho when I play games like this, or like Dishonored, or like any other- I kinda just kill everybody, I let God sort them out, that's how I play the game. Uh, but you know, we'll stick with it. Holding down shift lets you sneak and eliminates the noise that you make while moving, and reveals enemy vision cones. Okay, so I can do like a little- Damn, I can do that right there. Okay, so we'll come back around this way, and this is our guy right here. Can I do anything to him? No, I just like sneak by. Well, that's remar- Oh, there we go. Left button to do a non-lethal melee attack. If you do a right mouse button, you will fire your gun. Okay. Oof, that man got wrecked. Although I like how many frames were in that falling down animation right there. What is that, a key card? Hold on, I gotta go back and see if I can knock this guy out too. I don't like leaving loose ends, okay? That's not what I'm about. There we go. No loose ends. Everybody gets a little bit of unconsciousness today. You get, Chances are they were probably complaining about not getting enough sleep or like having a rough time lately anyways. I'm helping. I'm a humanitarian. Oh, that's a save point in case you didn't know. Let's sneak on in. We got the vision cone over here. Okay. What's this guy doing? Okay. So, like, technically, I think I can move these guys, too. So, we'll move him, like, back here so he's out of the vision cone. And then he turned right here, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like he turns right there. We'll knock him out, and then we'll just come straight. Man, I am a knocking out fool! And we got some more bullets, so that's something to enjoy. Can I loot anything while I'm in here? Like, can I get into these cabinets and, like, steal some stuff? Like, we're already in here, dude. One of the best parts about being on a shadow run is that, like, nobody notices if you slide a couple of cred sticks in your back pocket. Like, nobody cares. My first active ability is a shock bolter. It allows you to fire a projectile towards your crosshair and it stuns them for four seconds. That actually seems like kind of a useful thing. And then we could throw a smoke grenade as well. Okay. So these guys are blinded. That actually worked out surprisingly well. I expected that to have, like, a lot more degrees of failure than it ended up happening. We do have an energy meter down there, though, so it did cost us. This is not something that we're able to do, like, for free. Ow, dude, what just happened? Okay, apparently I got hurt and it wants me to use first aid. So there you go. I have first aided myself. I have been giving myself the first aids. Uh, what's happening over here? Oh, that guy's coming around that way? Oh, Okay, so I think this is our first guy that's got to go. I mean, technically, I can knock this guy out, and then if we drag him down into the hallway over here, it'll be okay. And nobody asks any questions. Like, there was a guy standing there like eight seconds ago, and this dude just keeps patrolling around like, must be the wind. Sorry, bro. I really didn't want to be detected here, but I guess I've been detected now. Okay, well, we'll keep working our way through. Uh, find any clues, and then we gotta find an optional upgrade kit on the second floor. And we get XP for that, so I'm actually gonna try and finish that up. Because I am interested in finding out how the RPG mechanics are gonna influence this entire experience. As I understand it, the game is gonna have, like, three characters. And they have sort of, like, a coalescing story of how they all come into contact with one another. And how they make this all happen. Uh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, just knock him out real fast. Oh, there's another guy over here, and he's investigating. Stop, stop gating the invest, dude. Alright, well, I've been shot now. I've been shot. I picked up an up upgrade kit, so that's fine. Uh, blood is all over the place, but in fact, I actually really, really like how brightly colored the blood is. I don't know if I can kill this robot. I'm just gonna shoot it. So the robot's been shot. I believe it's possible that that guy was aware of us. It, it's, it's maybe possible that he heard us fire our massive Chiapa Rhino 357 inside the confines of the compound. Oh, this dude's coming down here to investigate. Oh, but he didn't see the body. Okay, 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 let's push up on him. Doink! I'll take those bullets. What kind of guard walks around with two bullets in his pocket? I feel like it's a very valid question. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, throw a grenade over there. There we go. Got his ass. 
Uh, what is this right here? Like a med pack? Oh, nice, dude. Okay, so that heals me up right there. I actually didn't need to use my special ability. I could have just, like, left that rock in where it was. Uh, these dudes do not appear to be, like, super aware of me. This guy, however, has, like, a big beefy bullet vest, so I assume he's at least somewhat resistant to melee attacks. Uh, what is that over there? It's just a script from a normal newspaper. Okay, so we've got, like, a little scrap of paper right here that's talking about the universe. You can pause that and look into it if you want. But I'm trying to get a little further into the game so that you can get a good idea of what it's all about. Doink, doink. I guess some of them take two hits. I don't know how you determine that, but... Oh, there's a key over here. Hold on, let me get that key. All right, so we got a key card down on that side. That's good. The scrap of paper didn't really help us too much. I don't know if we got XP or something for picking that up. I doubt it. It's probably just like a little lore fragment. Uh, we'll crack open this door right here. I haven't killed anybody yet, so, like, I went along with Sybil's wishes. I did beat the teeth out of a lot of people, though. Like, there was some serious violence that took place. This data pad has a record of all the patients that the clinics treated. Lamar's name is listed here. It looks like some of Lamar's biometric samples were sent out to an unregistered lab in Manhattan. That's probably a lead. I'm gonna get out of here, though, before I find out. I should give Sybil a call. All right, well, let's go give Sybil a call then. What is that thing right there? What is this weird, like, howl thing that lives inside my apartment? Why is there straight water drainage in the floor? Like, is this like a flood area? We don't have a, like, dude, this apartment is really kind of sparse. Like, we don't have a shower. We don't have, like, an area for eating or cooking or any, and there's plenty of space here. Like, they could have easily fit it in. This is Sybil, who's calling? Frank, I found something in the clinic last night that I think might interest you. Glad to hear the job went well, and there's no mention of a break-in on the news, so you must have been quiet. Any good news? Yeah, I found Lamar's patient records at the clinic. They were sent to some sort of lab in Manhattan, but there's no clues as to why. A lab? What do you think that means? Not sure, but if we want more answers, we're gonna have to go. Alright, Frank, I appreciate you being discreet this time around. We really don't need to bring any attention to us by doing something reckless. Alright, bye, Sib. Uh, can I sleep or anything? Like, does sleeping do anything? I can't fire my gun inside the apartment either. I do like the lighting. Like, I really do like the pixel work in this game. Like, the pixel art looks really, really good. I do think that the main character's movement seems like a little tiny bit stiff and slidey. Uh, they probably could have remedied that by adding, like, a small impact when the foot hits the ground. Um, just to make them feel more connected to the earth. But, like, other than that, though, like, the work is just utterly fantastic. I guess we're gonna head on out. Let's go check out this weird, uh, lab that they sent Lamar's stuff on out to. Listen, when somebody's shipping around somebody else's bodily fluids, we gotta investigate, okay? So, like, it, I would do the same thing. If somebody was shipping my bodily fluids around without letting me know, I'd be like, hmm, maybe this is worth looking into. I probably wouldn't go myself. I'd probably go through the proper channels. But at the same time... Uh, upgrades are special bonuses that will improve your character's abilities in various ways depending on your play style. These upgrades can be purchased at the start of every level through the use of upgrade points. You accumulate upgrade points over the course of the game by finding upgrade kits. Upgrade choices are not permanent and you can change them at the start of any level. Okay, uh, so we've got our health booster over here so we get healed by more. We've got first aid to heal us instantly without holding us in place and reduces the cooldown by one second. We've got Overcharge over here, so it does 15 points of non-lethal damage instead of just doing whatever it did previously. And then this one right here pauses the game for 5 seconds and reduces its cooldown by 2 seconds. We can get Riot Control, so our Smoke Grenade will be 50% larger. Uh, our Smoke Grenade can also deal non-lethal damage over time and increases its duration. That actually seems pretty rad. We've got Combat Stims over here. Uh, so that apparently our Deadeye ability will increase the damage of our baton, and then we can reduce the cooldown of our Deadeye ability by two seconds every time we knock somebody out. I will probably go with... Probably go with the Shock Bolter, since that allows me to knock people out from, like, farther away. It's basically like a wrist dart that electrocutes people. And so, like, right now it doesn't do enough damage to really, like, take anybody out. But if I could fire it, take somebody out, 
You know, if I could whack somebody and then fire it and take them out too, I feel like it gives us an opportunity to combo two people at once. Uh, we've got Quick Strike over here. Our tactical baton gets faster. We've got Subtlety, and so it's going to give us more time before we're detected. We've got Fast Shot, so we can fire a revolver a little bit faster. And then we've got our chance of finding energy pickups. I'm going to go with Subtlety, I guess. Subtlety sounds like a pretty good start. I can probably just finish right here. I'm going to save the points for next time around to see what we come up on next. Because I'd like to get a little deeper into the trees. All right, so we got to find clues related to Lamar. First, second, whatever clues. I wonder if 15 damage is enough to take this guy out. Uh, 15 damage was not enough to take that guy out. But we got him. Uh, the drone I don't particularly know how to deal with. Yeah, I'm just going to break the damn thing. Like, I, I don't know how to deal with the drone, so I'm just going to take it out. So we got another guy over here. We know for a fact that we don't have enough oomph to really fully knock somebody out. There's a lot of cones right here. I think this guy... Actually, I don't know. Um, sketchy. You're first. Kind of move you to right there. We're going to have to go quick on this guy, though. There we go. Yeah, that wrist blaster works pretty good. I like that thing. That little wrist rocket that we got going on the stuns people is actually a pretty solid tool. This guy's probably going to start looking around. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, they're all investigating. Okay. Got him. Perfect, dude. Look at that right there. Look at that right Everybody gets a sleepy nap time. You get a sleepy nap time. You get a sleepy nap time. Everybody gets a nap time, courtesy of this ass whooping. Okay, let me grab some energy right there real fast. I'm not like a huge stealth game guy, but I do like stealth games when they give you like tools to play around with. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide back here. Almost got me right there. Let's go ahead. I, I appreciate the ability to move bodies too. That's actually pretty cool. Like that's one of those kind of like, it's one of those mechanics that a lot of games forget to kind of clock in on. Uh, oh, there's a camera right there too. Ain't that about something. Move you back over to here. I had to kind of adapt to that situation quickly. I'm going to wait for my cooldown to come back up. I am actually curious on how it affects the bot. And in fact, it looks like it affects the bot pretty good. Can I break the camera? Oh, you can deactivate the camera. Okay, cool. So there is a way to deal with cameras right here. You just got to go to the camera and press the space bar, and then you can shut the damn thing down. I was going to say, because like taking out that guy to the bottom left was going to be a giant headache until we figured out how to get rid of that camera. Uh, I think we're pretty much free and clear. I think we got everybody. I didn't know. Was there anything back over here? Hold on a second. I want to check and see if there's anything left and down over on this side. It looks like there's really, like, nothing there, so we should be all right. Let's keep on trucking and moving on through this thing. I do like the I do like how the usage of abilities is like encouraged. Like you really are so like a lot of games will give you the abilities, but you can straight stealth everybody without ever having to use any of the abilities, except in like the direst of circumstances. Like it tends to be how it is with like Assassin's Creed and whatnot. But I do like that they sort of force you to use some of these abilities in order to get the job done. Uh oh. Got you. This guy is inquisitively looking around. All right, he's no longer looking around. He's looking at the ceiling. Go ahead and take that thing out right there. And dude, my guy is like, so my thought here is probably that we'd be in better shape if we weren't touching any of these people and we just snuck straight on through. But like at the same time, it's just too much fun using all these abilities. Get that guy right there. Get that guy right there. Luckily, in the far future, none of these guys have walkie-talkies or any of, like, that supplemental equipment. 
You know, they don't have, like, Deckers right now watching their cyber eyes, keeping an eye on everything that's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna get in behind here. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this, though. Like, obviously, that guy's gotta go. We deactivate that. He sees the dead body. He's gonna go investigate. We stun him from behind, and there it is. Flawless. Uh, looks like we already got the upgrade kit. I don't remember picking up an upgrade kit, but I guess we did pick up an upgrade kit. I don't know. I didn't see it, but I'm going to assume that... Oh, that guy looks bigger and tougher. Yeah, this guy looks like he's out for the drama right now. It's okay. We can knock him out like anybody else. You just got to go for the weak spot. And that weak spot is the butt. I don't know if most people are aware of that fact. But the weak spot on any organism is the butt. Like, it may look like I'm sapping them in the head right now. But no, dude. I'm just tasering them right in the pooper. They go straight down, dude. If you've never done it before, get a cattle prod and just and get somebody right in the pooper with it. I promise they go down. Ain't nobody that tough. Like, Shaquille O'Neal ain't that tough. You know what I mean? Like, nobody, nobody carries that kind of weight. Uh-oh. I'm about to get shot. I'm about to get shot. There we go. That's kind of brave of him to push that corner like that when I've already shown an extreme propensity for physical violence. Like, I respect it. Like, it's ballsy. Let's see, if I'm reading these files right, it looks like the lab manufactures some of the compounds needed to synthesize shard. Who the hell owns this place? There's also a mention that the lab disposes waste in bright and hollow near the flood wall. Might want to check that out. Yeah, this is like the point at which during the Shadowrun campaign, the alarm bells stop, they start going off in my head like... Like, the fact that we found this place in the middle of town and Sybil, our contact, thinks that it's coming in from out of town. And that it's now being manufactured in the city and one of our boys has disappeared and we're in here just finding this information out now, um, that's a real, real bad thing in Shadowrun. That's a real, real bad thing. That means that someone has not told you the entire truth or they were not aware of the entire truth and now you're just going to have to deal with the fallout by yourself. Uh, there's also the fact that this is being manufactured inside the city when everybody that's in the know that's distributing thinks that it's coming from outside the city means that there's probably a powerful player behind this and it's more than likely Lawfare. All right, we've got problems. We've got big, big issues. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't know, dude. Uh, let's just shock this guy before he gets any further on down the road. I would love to take this drone out too, but I think I'm gonna have to wait for my cooldown to be up. Hey, there's the other piece of evidence. Okay, let's have a quick look around and make sure we haven't missed anything. Because I'm sure there's something laying around here. Oh, there's another guy over there. I guess I could throw that out right there. That might work. There we go. Just like stampede my way through with a cattle prod. Just be like, how about the name? You can pause this if you want to and read it if you wanted to. It looks like there's still more areas to look. My, my worry is that I'm going to pick up that clue over there and then it's going to end the mission. And there's going to be something that I've like missed inside of here that I really, really wanted to get my hands on. So, let's grab the clue now that we know that we've cleared out the floor. These files have a detailed list of all the biometric samples that were sent to the lab. Lamar and several other recently arrested Central City leaders are listed here. It looks like some of these biometric samples were artificially duplicated. Can't be good. I'd better call Sybil. Yeah, we better go call our handler real fast. Can't do anything by our... Ooh, the clouds got all dark and scary outside. But then again, I suppose it's time for a tonal shift. I've been legitimately annihilating dudes for the last 24 hours on zero sleep. This is Sybil. It's Frank. I want to talk to you about what I found last night. What'd you find? Uh, Lamar was framed. Actually, I found evidence that the lab manufactures some of the chemicals found in Shard and that it disposes waste in Bright and Hollow near the Flood Wall. Shard? Bright and Hollow's Russian turf. Why would this lab be dumping Shard components near the Russians? Uh, I don't know. The lab might be owned by them. I don't know why they'd be working. I don't think they would shit where they eat, though. I'm not sure. There was no information at the lab about who really owns it. Something here doesn't smell right. Well, back to the Russians. What did you find about Lamar? You were right. He was framed. I found his biometric data at the lab along with others from Central City. The lab has been duplicating it to use however they wanted. Somebody must have planted it at the crime scene with the cop. Bastards. I knew that the clinic was up to something, but why the hell does a non-profit want to set us up? Who's behind this? I don't know, but our only lead is the Russians. I investigated their operations a few years back, and I think I know where to start in Brighton Hollow. 
So you're referring to your history with Zerkov, right? Lamar told me about him and what he did to you. Frank, don't get distracted. The priority here is freeing Lamar. All right. Thanks, Frank. What you found out about Lamar might be enough to get him off, but we still don't know why any of this happened. If the Russians and Shard are involved, this might be bigger than we think. I appreciate your- It's definitely bigger! I've been playing Shadowrun my entire life, and it is definitely bigger. It always starts with a milk run. Always. It always starts with the easiest mission where they're like, Oh, it's easy creds, chummer! And then you show up, and all of a sudden, the entire campaign blows up. You're being hunted. There's drones shooting at you. There's snipers parked outside your grandma's house. It just turns into a mess. I know exactly where this is going. The only way to play Shadowrun is intensely, intensely paranoid at all times. You should, all be, you should always be running the numbers in the back of your head like, what's going to go wrong here? But anyways, my name is Splattercat. This is called Disjunction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you can get the game down below. If you don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Save you a little bit of time. Today up on the chopping block we had Disjunction, and tomorrow we will more than likely have something else. From where I stand right now, I, I don't really see any major problems with it. It's a lightweight, it's, it's a, I don't know how much heavier it's going to get, but it's a lightweight stealth RPG about sneaking around smacking guys in the back of the head. Thus far, we haven't really hit any difficulty, but then again, it's only the first two missions. I do like the way that the abilities are seamlessly integrated into the game, and the way that they've accomplished this is by making it so none of your abilities make you stand still. Uh, that would cause a tremendous break in the flow of gameplay. And so I love the fact that you can kind of strafe while rolling a grenade. You can walk while firing your stun dart. You can walk while knocking somebody out. All of your abilities are fully on play. You don't have to stay in a spot for like a second in order to aim or do anything. And it gives the game a nice fluid feeling to it. Uh, there is the question to be had about like how much depth is going to enter the game. And like how many different skill sets we're going to have access to. And how many characters we're going to be swapping in between. I think from what I saw there's about three characters. Characters and you swap between them and their stories slowly kind of coalesce into one another like threads pulling effectively uh, So, you know, there are other characters with other abilities in case you weren't a fan of what you saw here today But that being said, I think the visual design is great I think the ability usage feels powerful, but not so powerful that it makes the difficulty like trivial It just makes them powerful enough to make it feel like you want to use the abilities like the stun dart and the flash grenades and everything else So anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for being here and don't forget to leave a like. Bye everybody